What's up guys, welcome back and in today's video I want to show you how you can create custom quick setting shortcuts for just about anything. So you can see I have a few custom ones in here. I have one that shows my phone's RAM usage and storage capacity and I can even go in there to see what's taking up space or what's using my RAM. I have this one that will launch a brand new email so I can send an email directly from here. This one will enable Chromecast and I even have one in here that will quickly bring up my vaccination QR code and even this last setting that will bring up my favorite steak recipe. So I don't need to go searching for it every time that I want to make steak. I just can press on that button and it'll take me directly to that website. So definitely a really cool app and will pretty much allow you to map these quick settings to just about anything you can think of. So to set this up, all you need to do is go to your Play Store and install this app called Shortcutter. It's a free to use app, so you're not gonna have to pay for it, but it does have some premium features if you ever want them. But for now, go ahead and install it and then come back to the video and we'll go through the settings. All right guys, now once the app is installed and you open it up, you're gonna be greeted with this page right here. Now all you need to do to get started is tap on pull down or you can go to the hamburger icon and tap pull down there because we are dealing with this pull down menu here. But if you have like a Samsung phone, you'll also have a sidebar available to you. So you can use that later on as well. But for now, we're just gonna deal with the pull down section. Now in here, you're gonna see there's custom tiles, action tiles, information tiles, system tiles, and advanced access tiles. And there's a lot of options already baked right into the app ready for you to use. So if you go to action tiles, you can see there's a whole list of all these tiles that you can create. I have my Chromecast enabled and this new email template enabled, but you can go ahead and enable any one of these that you want. You can see there's like a new tweet section, there's a new text message one, there's the flashlight, we already have that one built in, developer options, camera, like there's a lot of stuff in here that you can set up and launch directly from your quick settings. There's also information tiles and in here, you'll get things like battery data. You can see I have my next alarm, RAM, and the device storage that I showed you earlier. So you can enable whichever ones of these that you want. But if you want to create custom tiles kind of like I have here for my vaccination QR code and my steak recipe website. What you need to do is go to the custom tile section. Now on the free version, you only get the choice between two of these. You can only ena enable two, unfortunately. So if you wanna get more, you're gonna have to pay for the premium version, but at least we get something on the free version. So I have these two set up. You can see this one brings up a website to the my steak recipe, whereas this one brings up my Stow card application. This is my digital wallet where I've added my vaccination QR code. So to set these up, all you need to do, let's say we'll disable this one and then I'll show you guys how to uh, recreate it. So you can see it goes back to uh, just custom tile two. Now when you enable this custom tile, it's going to bring up this little uh, pop up here and it'll give you an option between applications, activity, shortcuts, direct messages, direct dial and web link. So if you want to create a web link, that's how I have my steak recipe here. All you need to do, do is tap on that. You can put any URL you can think of in here. It really doesn't matter. Anything will work. Any website, anything you want, you can put it in here and then tap confirm. Now, if you want it to, instead of go to a website and you want it to maybe bring up an application like I have for my QR code, all you need to do is tap on applications and then in here, it will load up all the applications that are on your phone. And again, obviously you can pick any single one. You can pick a game, you can pick the Play Store, you can pick wallpaper paper apps you can any app that's installed on your phone you can use this tile to bring up that app so i have mine mapped to stow card which is my digital wallet so we're gonna put that back on here and then once it's set up all you need to do is go unfortunately it kind of takes you back to the home page every time you make changes but if you go back to the pull down and then custom tiles you can also rename these. So if you wanna make it a little bit more obvious what these are or show the appropriate name when you're actually looking at it in your tiles here, you can go ahead and rename it by tapping on rename and then putting whatever name you want on here. But once you have those set up, you're pretty much done. All you need to do at this point is go into your quick settings here and then tap on the edit button and you're gonna scroll down until you see all of these new tiles that you created. So they'll go down under here and I've obviously already dragged mine up so you can see my vaccination QR code and steak recipe are already here. But if you just set yours up for the first time, just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, find them down in here and then just tap on them. You know, let's say this was one of the new ones and just bring it up to your quick settings section here and just put it wherever you want. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to set this up. And now you have a bunch of really, really cool quick setting shortcuts in here that will launch any apps or take you to any websites that you wanted. So definitely a really cool app in my opinion. And if you're anything like me and you like to keep your homepage on your phone decluttered of all sorts of apps and shortcuts, you're really gonna like this because you can keep everything up here, all the apps and shortcuts that you need to access often, you can keep them up here and keep your home space nice and clean. And what's really nice is that, let's say I wanted to create a new email 
Usually I would have to go and open my email client and then compose a email, which is, I guess, two steps. Whereas in here, all I need to do is tap on new email. And then when I go back, you can see my email client gets launched and I can immediately start typing out my new email. So definitely really convenient. Or let's say maybe I'm going to a restaurant or somewhere out and I need to quickly bring up my vaccination QR code. So instead of having to, you know, go through my app drawer and search for my digital wallet and then bringing it up, all I need to do is tap on my vaccine QR shortcut that I created. It will launch my digital wallet. And when I go back, you can see there it is. And my QR code is right there. And I can quickly display it without having to go through my entire phone looking for the application. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.